Hello everybody, Woo. welcome to the show. Uh, we are here today tasting the brand new second member release stout from Moxa. Uh, this is called Immoderation. Uh, it has, let's see, uh, it's imperial stout with vanilla, coconut, coffee, and maple syrup, or maple, they don't say syrup, but I know it's syrup. And uh, spoiler alert, I've already tasted this. I wasn't planning to do a review at the brewery. Uh, today was the first, uh, this is the very first pour I've tasted of this beer. And uh, there is now a new number one stout here at Moxa. This beer is pretty, <laughs> pretty incredible. Uh, I'm gonna do this briefly. This is a little unusual to do it solo live in the brewery, so uh, I feel like I'm off my game. I don't have my kids with me, you know how it is? So, right away, first of all, it was served right out of the uh, tap and it was pretty cold. Um, you can see just a gorgeous brown hue, sort of a uh, lacing in the glass of this tan, but like still bright, creamy tan head. Um, and the, the aromas are just flying out of the glass. It's pretty awesome. So, let's break it down for you. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, I get such a huge toasted uh, marshmallow component. I mean, it's literally like I'm in a Vermont forest. Imagine Vermont forest, maple trees all around you, and then you start a little fire and you toast up a marshmallow and it gets perfectly brown and caramelized around the edge. I mean, it's ridiculous. Um, the coconut and the coffee in this as well is absolutely in the aroma. Um, but what I like about it is uh, not, not one of those flavors, the coconut, the coffee, or the maple is the star of the show. Which actually I'm surprised about. I thought for sure that the maple would be like, you know, screaming out. Sometimes when people play with maple and beer, it just gets so like all about that ingredient. This feels like this harmonious uh, tango between the three flavors. A tango for three. I don't think they do tangos with three, but yeah, I mean, it smells it smells crazy, and it's still really cold. Uh, let's give it a taste for you live cheers so it's a it, it it's a high 17 percent uh which is insane but absolutely doesn't come off as hot or uh boozy i mean it's boozy in this nice almost like a cognac where it's it's smooth and it's sweet and just has layers of chocolate, coffee, and coconut. And then this stickiness from the maple syrup, it just leaves you wanting another sip. Uh, to me, this is probably one of my favorite stouts, especially non-barrel-aged stouts. It's kind of insane. Uh, I'm going to go favorite non-barrel-aged stout I've ever tasted. Um, number one stout from Moxa for sure. Uh, I'm very excited about this. Yeah, I mean, and what's funny about it is it almost smells barrel-aged. If you didn't tell somebody whether or not it was barrel-aged, um, they might guess that this had spent time in a barrel. And I think that, uh, I don't know if any of the ingredients, I actually forget the formal write-up, but um, I don't know if it was barrel-aged coffee beans or barrel-aged maple syrup or something. Uh, but, I mean, maybe I'm, I'm a broken reviewer here, but, I mean, I swear to God, I'm picking up like a, a barrel kind of character on this. Uh, see what you think. Love to hear some other thoughts out there. Uh, but guys, if you can get your hands on this, and uh, you know, forewarning, I am a Moxa member. I do have access to this right now. Probably get two or three bottles for my release. Probably will trade one, maybe. Uh, but this is seriously insane. So, thank you, Moxa, for putting out great beer. Cheers.